Hey loves, um, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. My name is Maggie Aching. If you are new here, if you are a returning, it's be good to have you back here again. I appreciate having you back here again. Um, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please click the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. I will really appreciate. Now today I want to talk about pricing. All right, for the online market, pricing for an online shop. I want to make it make sense. All right. Now the thing is that people tend to I mean I literally just saw a post yesterday on Facebook saying that online sellers exaggerate their prices that their prices are supposed to be cheaper than um a physical shop and I'm like make it make sense make it make sense please how all right so now let's talk about a few things that you incur as an online seller that make you price the way you price your products all right now the thing is that when i'm an online seller consider one i'm going to deliver to you at the comfort of your home okay at the comfort of your home so you're not going to spend fair but you're going to pay me for courier services all right you will not pay fair or if you're driving you'll not put fuel all right so how will the price be the same i have to include it inside the product for me to actually be able to you know what recover if i may say that okay another thing is i go to the market i come back i bring you a product i have to make this product presentable we use a lot of electricity ironing this stuff all right it takes a lot of time to stand over there taking photos so yes we also pay ourselves labor all right because you need to understand standing for like three four hours straight ironing and taking photos and eh, not unless you're a magician you're gonna need some back therapy you know and sometimes that back therapy imagine kukunwa soda yeah yeah me soda yeah so basically there's so much that comes into uh being an online seller that you actually have to factor in i use credit every single day or you use wi-fi to post your products to keep marketing and all that okay we also use um money to boost our pages all right because we don't boost our pages for free facebook charges us all right so the money that the money that someone pays for a rent for like a physical shop is the money that an online seller pays to be able to boost their page all right because if you don't boost your page then that means your page can't grow so there's this really mentality that an online shop should be cheaper than a physical location no that's not the case if anything i believe the prices should just be the same thereabouts all right even a bit pricier okay because in all honesty um something is being brought to the comfort of your home or to your office then you need to understand that in that um to amoxivia time amoxivia do because okay let's just be realistic for example um you want to buy a denim blouse all right and you want to you live for example in say south sea you don't know where you're gonna buy your denim blouse and you're like i need to go and get it maybe in tao ukwakina sanbim nini nini or go to toy market you go all the way how many how much fare are you gonna spend how much time are you going to spend on the road now me as an online seller i have made it easier for you because i'm going to cut short all that i'm going to bring it to you i'm going to save you time and the money that you're going to spend okay so yeah please let's stop having this mentality that just because someone is an online seller their prices are supposed to be cheap Aquanini, because of why because of what because of where ya yeah we also have things that we spend on all right that makes us price things the way we price sometimes i always say it's always a good thing to actually be able to be um reasonable or try and um understand why they price the way they price before you start saying oh my god it is so expensive yes i cannot deny there are people online who exaggerate their prices as in majorly there are people who exaggerate a lot you can find someone selling a dress one single dress like this for something up to four g's they have their reasons why okay maybe they are living in a place where the rent is too pricey and they need to meet their bills so just understand and another thing about being an, being online is that no one is really um forcing things down your throat you choose you either want to buy from that online seller or you don't it's that simple is that lazy light 
you don't really have to stress about it oh you're pricey willing buyer willing seller yes i said it willing buyer willing seller so let's let's stop having that mentality kill them to another footer all right if the price then work for you next i mean even me sometimes i buy things online and i'm like hey, okay that one is pricey thanks and i move to the next seller you naka una complain society initially why 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 people like that hmm so yeah, if you're an online seller, I believe let me know in the comment section what are some of the comments that you get from people that tend to really like annoy you. Let me know in the comment section what are those comments because for me, there are things that people normally say and you're like, see by force, you know. So let me know in the comment section what do people tell you that make you normally just think, you know what, I am cool, calm and collected and I will not respond like, Kinney, you know, let me know. Let me know in the comic section. Um, hey, section. <laughs> me, I'm telling you guys, imagine you can, you can run away from your tribe, but the tribe will never run away from you. Let me know in the comic section. What are those things that tend to really annoy you when guys tell you as an online seller? All right. So that was it for today's video. Give this video a thumbs up. I will really, really appreciate. Um, thank you for watching up to this far. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We are on the road to 4.3k, so please subscribe. And yeah, thank you for watching. God bless you. Barakatele. And hey, this Nairobi Sola is doing a number on us. So yeah, Jibambe. Jibambe. Okay? I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.